Hey guys, we have Esther Mystery number five up here. So label in your math notebook. All right, we have a jar here. It looks like we've got some wooden beads. All right, I want you right now, before we get any clues, give me an estimate. How many beads do you think are in this jar? How many beads do you think are in this jar? One more second, write down your estimate. Everybody have an estimate written down? All right, here we go. The answer is a two-digit number. So if your estimate was not a two-digit number, go ahead and make a new estimate now. Raise your hand, share with me. What do you think your estimate is right now, Ricky? 28. 28. 36. 36. 30. 36. 30. 30. 25. 25. 30. 30. 33. 33. 50. 55, 46, 46 39, 39 30, 30 or 32, pick one, 30, 38. 38. All right, here we go. Clue number two. The answer is an odd number. So you might need to make a new estimate. I know I had lots of even numbers, even numbers end with an even number. Raina, if I'm talking, you're not, please. So I had some 30s, I had some 38s, um, I think I had a 36, none of those would work now. So make a new estimate. Clue number three. If there were three more beads, the number would be a multiple of 10. Multiples of 10, for example, are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and etc. cetera. So if there were three more beads, it would be a multiple of 10. I think a lot of friends need to make a new estimate number right now. What does my number have to end with now? In order for it to have three more beads to be a multiple of 10, what does it have to end with, Charlie? A seven. It has to end with a seven. So if I add three, seven, eight, nine, 10, then it would be a multiple of 10. So now we know it has to end with a seven. Very nice. Clue number four. The number of beads is divisible by three. And we're gonna be working some more with divisibility tomorrow. Uh, divisible by three. So for example, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, and etc. You can keep counting by threes to keep going. 18, 21. What comes next? 24, 27. Then what? 30. Then what? 33. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 37. 33, and then 36. three more would be 36. Good. Something to kind of take note of too when you're looking at this estimate is it looks like some beads are um, smaller than others. These two beads don't look like they're the same size. Might be able to help you some with your estimate because you can always fit more if things are smaller. So those smaller beads are going to count up more than having larger beads. All right, using my four clues, raise your hand and give me your estimate. Brooklyn. 37. 37. Bradley. 37. Uh, give me something, if you have something different than 37. Charlie. I have 37, but I'm going to say 27. Okay, 27. Uh, Sophia. 24. Give me another one, Jake. 
Give me another justice. Uh, Aiden, 57. All right, we're going to stop right there because I want to check these. So, are all of these two-digit numbers? <laughs> yes. Are they all odd? Um, no. 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 Is 24 odd? Yeah. No. No. Is 40 odd? No. Are all of them, if they had three more, would be a multiple of 10? Yeah. So three more, this would be 40. That's a multiple of 10. Three more, that would be 30. Three more, that would be 33. Sorry, 34. Is that a multiple of 10? No. No. And then three more, that would be 60. Does that one work? So we've got three up here that fit our clues. Let's see. Here we go. Are there more than those three? Yes, there's more than those three that would work. Those are just our three that we have examples of right now. Here we go. fit more. All right. Good job, guys. Now, uh, I want you to label your math notebook. If you want to view this on your iPad instead, it is on Schoology, daily math number 10. And in your math notebook, I want you to do all nine problems. Make sure your paper is numbered. You are starting at the left-hand side and going down. I've been looking at your math notebooks, and I have lots of friends who do not have organized math work in their notebook. Left-hand side, number one, you work your way down. Okay, just, if Schoology is not working, then you're going to view it up here then. Remember, we're using our, uh, not the app of Schoology, but the website, because the app uh, is still having some glitches it's working out, so you're using the website for Schoology. But if not, you can view it right up here right now. Well, yeah.
one. 23 times three is? 69. 69. Very nice. Number two, 524 plus 98. 622. Number three, six plus eight plus five? 19. 19. Number four, how much is three quarters worth? 75 cents. Each quarter is 25 cents. So you can either do 25 plus 25 plus 25 or 25 times 3 to get 75 cents. And you can either write it as a decimal, you can do a money sign, 0.75, or you can do 75 with the cent sign behind it. All of those would be correct. Number five, what comes next in this pattern? Three, six, nine, twelve. 12. Number six, 26 times eight? 208. Number seven, 35 plus 35? 70. 70. Number eight, 451 minus 126? 325. And number nine, I bought two candy bars for 20 cents each. How much did I spend? I'm hoping this can be mental math because what's our equation, Hannah? 20 times two, so I can do two times two is four, and then add your zero to get what total, Hannah? 40 cents. And again, you can do a money sign, 0 0.40, or 40 with a cent sign after it. So it would look like this. and all three would be correct. All right, ladies and gentlemen, be ready to go for your math test over topic six tomorrow. And remember to bring that help sheet that I gave you guys over multiplying decimals. Do you guys have any questions? All right, you have no math homework besides to be ready to go for your test tomorrow.